Subtitle. Yes, friends, we're here with a new training. We will learn microservice architecture together. In the previous lesson, we talked a bit about the basic structure. Starting today, we'll actually continue the training with a specific project. Now, our main approach here will be this. How do you design a structure in a microservice architecture? And how does communication between services work? After that, we'll look at how to deploy and publish this system on Google Cloud Kubernetes. In this lesson, we'll first see how to create a project. How do we define a basic structure to create modules? We'll look into that. There aren't too many details. It's something simple. We'll open our project just like we would with a regular Java project anyway. After that, the really important part is the Gradle structure. We'll start building our systems on the Gradle side. Now, first of all, let's quickly create a simple project as an introduction. Guys, I'm clicking on New Project. What you're going to create here is just normal, a Java project. Guys, you're going to open a regular Java project. Our project here doesn't have to be anything specific. It doesn't have to be anything special. But I want to create this with a social media concept in mind. Social. Social media. We're opening a regular Java project, as you know. Guys, Gradle. I have version 21. We'll select this. Groovy. You don't need to write anything extra in the advanced section. For the group ID, you can write your own name or, if you have one, your company name. We click create and wait for a simple project to be generated. Guys, I'm going to open it now. Now, please pay attention here. When I open projects, I use Gradle. I'll explain the configurations to you through Gradle as well. And I'll teach you these things, guys. So. Gradle is important for us, guys. We'll be doing our setups on the Gradle side. Now, this system here is normal. It's just a regular Java project, guys. So, there's nothing inside it. As you can see, I haven't added anything extra or any additional stuff. Now, we're going to add modules for the microservices we'll create inside this structure. Guys, so, we'll create each service under the main structure. The main reason for this is as follows. We'll have a main structure project. We'll customize the Gradle inside it. And through Gradle, we'll provide the necessary dependencies to each child module one by one. We'll talk about this in more detail in the next lessons, 
but for now, I don't want any coding here. I'll write all of these by hand. I'm talking about this first gradle in the root of the social media project. We'll fill this in manually, guys. Besides that, we're going to have one more file here, guys. We'll add another file. So, I right-click and select New File. I'm adding a new Gradle file called Dependencies Gradle, guys. Now, when I look online or at many people who teach this course, I usually see that they always talk about Maven. Yes, Maven. It's used in a lot of places. Companies prefer it. But when you look abroad and examine different projects, you'll see that Gradle is actively used. Especially when I look at banking projects in Germany and the UK, I observe that they use Gradle there and do their development with it. Guys, of course, this is based on the projects I've worked on or seen. But I also feel that this area is left a bit empty on this side. I mean, everyone explains Maven. But no one really explains the Gradle side in detail. That's why here, I'll walk you through what you need to do on the Gradle side, step by step. Guys, here, we also have our Dependencies Gradle. This Dependencies Gradle will be the libraries for our dependencies. We'll start coding this in our next lesson. Guys.